What up, what up, Winboys here. And inside of Unreal Engine 5.7, they added this new AI assistant in which I wanna see if this is gonna help me out because I built this project in 5.5 when the motion design tools first came out. And as you can see, the project isn't working at all. And so I wanna see if AI is gonna be able to assess it and then be able to help me fix it so I can have it looking just like it did when I built it originally a year ago. So let's walk through this step by step. So first we have to come up here to edit, come down here to plugins, and we first have to activate it. So my search, I'm just going to type in AI and it's right here at the top AI assistance. So I'm just going to turn this on, hit yes. And I'm not really sure what AI behaviors does, but I'm going to put this on anyway. Maybe it's going to help out. Not really sure. So I'm going to turn on AI assistant. That's the one we really want to look at. So I'm going to hit restart. And there's actually two ways we can use the AI assistant. So I'm going to start with this one that is implemented within Unreal. And then I'm going to show you the other way, which is the browser based method. Alrighty, so we have our project back open. We restarted. So I'm going to come up here to window. I'm going to come all the way down here to the bottom where it says AI assistant. Now I know this is in beta and I know there's some limitations, but let me see if this could actually help me out. So how can I fix my project I built in Unreal Engine 5.5 with uh, motion design tools? to make it look correct again. All right, so let's see if it's gonna actually assist the project. And I don't think it actually can. I think this is more just like a search engine type thing that's gonna look through the documents, but we'll see. So while it's thinking, if we look at the bottom, it's already given us link from the documentation, which none of these actually are gonna help out, but let's see what this is. So re-import asset checks, re-import your models. The fix with scaling, material upgrade issues from 5.5. So yeah, it's not really AI like you would think like ChatGPT or something where it actually like look at it and give you an answer. I know there's a couple of other tools out there too, but this is more just, I would say like a generic search inside of your documentation. So I don't think this is actually going to be useful like if you wanted to look at your projects and help you out like i know i tried with some blueprint coding before and it just ignored everything it just gave me a bunch of documentation links but i know with this project in particular like everything here was all procedurally animated no keyframes or anything down here everything was just built out with the operator stack you can go ahead and download this project if you want i'll leave the link to the original tutorial in the gum road where you can download the project for free if you want to check that out but yeah, as of right now, I'm going to say this is more good for like if you needed to search something within the documentation, not really as an AI assistant. Now, there's another way you could use the AI assistant. This one's going to be browser based in which if you have the Epic Games launcher opened up as of right now, it's right here on the front page where it says Epic Developer Assistant under the new section. So if we click on this, in which I know this method right here, this one is going to strictly look through your documentation. So if I could say like, how can I get started with the motion design tools and i'm pretty sure it's just going to give us a bunch of links from the documents anything that has to do with the motion design tools yep see right there your first your first graphic with motion design cloners and effectors see these are links to the documentation right here it's just giving you a generic step-by-step -step of how to do everything in there yeah, so again, this is just looking through the documentation. I know for me, I just like getting my hands dirty. I'm just gonna keep experimenting. That's the way that I learn the best and that's how I come up with my best products. So let me know what you think down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.